The robots, I think, that most inspired me was uh, from the movie Star Wars, and um, not R2D2 or C3PO, because they were too complex and too futuristic, and I couldn't figure out how to ever build one. But there was a little black robot the size of a toaster leading a uh, squad of stormtroopers through the Death Star, and I got very excited because I said, aha, we could build that, and that would be really cool. So I want robots that are, I can actually build and can actually be useful, and that's what gets me going. I was walking back from class um, with, a, with a friend of mine and asked him what he was doing next, and he said, well, I'm going to go apply for a job um, for the summer at a robot lab at MIT. And I said, oh, okay, well, well, I'll come along with you. And so I went to this robot lab. There was about 80 of us applying for three jobs. And they gave us one piece of paper and said, fill out the robot-like projects that you have done so far in your life. That was, the, that was the interview. 45 minutes later, I was still writing down stories about the projects that I had done. And I had this epiphany. It's like, wait, wait. What I love doing is robotics. And I've actually done a lot of it. And my friend didn't get a job, the job, but I got the job. And the lab was run by Professor Rodney Brooks, who was my um, uh, partner in founding iRobot. We always knew that a vacuuming robot would be a, a cool idea because of Rosie the Robot and the Jetsons. For 40 years, people have been watching this TV show and thinking that, oh, how grand life would be if I had a, a robot to vacuum for me. So when I would introduce myself to people, hello, I'm, my name's Colin Angle, I'm the CEO of iRobot, before they would even respond hello back, they would ask me the question, when are you going to clean my floors? So for a long time, we knew this was a great application if we could do it, but we had to learn how to do it. And so we worked with Johnson Wax Professional on big, expensive cleaning machines for uh, cleaning supermarkets. Uh, we worked with Hasbro on robot toys. I made a robot baby doll and a robot velociraptor and stuff like that. And then we realized, wait a minute, we're good at robots. We know how to clean. We finally know how to manufacture at low cost. It's time to do the Roomba.